Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, today, Zach Kingston and myself will be arguing in the affirmative that the displaced person scheme was a great humanitarian gesture. To begin with, between 1947 and 1952, Australia accepted approximately 170,000 displaced people from Europe in a project known as the displaced person scheme. The scheme was very selective about who was accepted in regards to age, race, gender, and family status. Additionally, the plan was strongly motivated by the need to populate the interior for national security and to provide labour for Australia's ambitious post-war economic program. However, that being said, we strongly contend that despite these self-interested motivations, this scheme was in fact a great humanitarian gesture. However, this immediately opens the historiographical question of what makes actions humanitarian. Uh, we all know that human motivations are complicated and that no one acts in a way that is purely self-interested or purely moral. It is our view that examining history with a moral heuristic is a problematic activity. This is because you can never completely isolate a moment or event in time and examine it on its own, removed from the chain of other events and causation that we call history. What this means for Australia's displaced persons scheme is that we will not deny the self-interested motivations of the scheme's planners, but will firmly argue that there were humanitarian intentions in play and that specifically its effect was humanitarian in nature. Our fundamental point is that self-interest, greed, and the outdated social views of Australia's leaders at the time were operating alongside humanitarian intentions, and the effect of the program may be more important than the motivations of its planners. The scale of its impact, the complicated intentions of Australia's leaders, and the good it did for those displaced people make this scheme a truly great humanitarian gesture. To begin with, I'll be discussing the question of intention regarding Australia's leadership at the time. Arthur Cowell, in his uh, famous immigration speech, said that for the good of the nation, you must give me the ships and I guarantee you that I will load them with the right type of immigrant. Historians like Stuart McIntyre and Humphrey McQueen agree that the central motivations of Cowell's policy were to populate the interior for national security and to solve labour shortages. However, McIntyre also emphasises the ambiguous nature of the Australian government's policy towards uh, displaced persons. He writes that the scheme was designed so that displaced persons would serve essential needs while also benefiting from their service, and that they were treated differently from other Australians while also being expected to integrate into the community. And this is clearly not as you know, clear-cut as the situation of um, heavily exploited migrant workers in a place like Dubai or Qatar, where there is a clear distinction making them non-people. Additionally, McIntyre also describes Cowell's efforts to break down prejudices through discouraging the term migrant in favour of New Australian, uh, which one displaced person from Poland, Marie Ponomarenko, described as an interesting and rather flattering epithet. Uh, this is despite the mixed results of the government's attempts to undermine deep-seated racism even to other kinds of Europeans. Therefore, the ambiguous nature of the government's policies and its well-meaning attempts to undermine prejudice indicate that the intentions of this scheme were not as simple as a black and white dichotomy between uh, sort of pure self-interested materialism and uh, idealistic humanitarianism. Uh, furthermore, in other government propaganda reels like Tomorrow's Australians, emphasis is often placed on the desperate conditions of displaced people. Uh, this indicates that in government's you know, public attempts to sell the program, there may have been a variety of complicated motivations interacting. However, Perhaps more important than intention for making this scheme a great humanitarian gesture was the effect. We will never know for sure how the humanitarian and self-interested instincts of Australia's leaders were interacting. However, the humanitarian effect of the program is indisputable. To develop this argument, Zach will outline the desperate conditions faced by displaced people in Europe, and Kingston will contrast this with the opportunities and new life in Australia offered them. Thank you very much.